what is up people I'm back with a new video new story time and I noticed that when I do videos like just stories I don't really look at the camera I never found a need for it or I don't know if that's something better not sure so this story time is called my cousin eats cereal you know cereal so I had this cousin and he was much younger than me, like three, four years. He was my nephew. And when I would go to his house, there was never anything to eat. Maybe it was a negligent mother or or something. Like he probably didn't like market or maybe no money. But he never had anything to eat. Like not even drink. Like <laughs> he drank faucet water, which is gross. It's nasty. And at his place, which is like the attic, it, it was a weird building. It was a, at the top of a hill with connected to the main house, but it was basically the attic. Hey again, people. Uh, I noticed that there's an engine roaring in the back. Nothing I can do about that. There's birds, there's cars. It doesn't matter. The show must go on. So at this attic, my cousin would have to do with what, whatever he got. I told him, why don't you eat at my, at my grandma's house, which is the the manager of the complex. And he said, I, I don't I don't feel like doing that. He was probably nervous, but my grandma would have given him food. Instead of just um, being so skinny and not having food. I, now that I think about it, as it's dull. It was kind of serious. Like, he was real skinny, you know? He wasn't like anorexic, but he could use some, some calories, some food. And so we went there one day, we're playing video games, and he says, you guys want some cereal? And we said, like, okay. <clears throat> and he goes out <laughs> to the side of, like, a closet, and he pulls out his dog's food. His dog's name is Cleo, so he pulls out Cleo's food. <laughs> you know, the croquets, like, I don't know what they're called, doggy pellets? And he grabs that, puts it in a bowl, and puts milk in it. And me and my brother thinking, he, he, he's lost his rocker. What is he doing? And he starts eating it. Like, <laughs> like just scoop after scoop. Like. And me and my brother were shocked because we thought it was weird. But to him, it wasn't weird. Like, I guess it was survival. Like, something serious. I guess it was survival, but me and my brother saw it as a joke. And he just kept eating it, finished it, just, oh, <laughs> I'm getting the freaking gag, dude, just thinking about it. And he offered us some of his dog food, and we politely declined. <laughs> and so he was just eating that cereal, so he would have to do that cereal when he didn't have food. It was surprising to us, because we didn't expect him to eat that. And later on, we asked him, we said, hey, isn't that food toxic? Like... I, I remember reading the label and it said not suitable for humans like it's not it's not clean enough or safe enough to eat and he said I don't care he he said like he was gonna do it anyways so if he's gonna do it anyways there's no stopping him you know he made a decision so then we we gotta take precautions later so we said how do you feel like do you feel bad you know like is it making him sick and he said I don't feel anything he he had no problem eating it and we told him how do you how do you get used to your stomach eating that and he said I get my stomach's hard I, I get used to eating food easily so that's what he would do to survive and this was this was supposed to be a funny story time but now that I think about it it's kind of sad but he's fine now like you don't need to worry about him all right I see you in the story time I'm about to click <laughs> don't eat that cereal right guys you know what it looked kind of good at the attic because <laughs> it looked like cocoa puffs, but the smell—oh man, I cannot, I cannot do that. I guess he could. <laughs>